in oils and acrylics. Now he worked in Crayola crayon, drew like a child, dogs and cats and upside down pink orange flowers planted in clouds. He got beat up by the men a lot. One day he brought a leaf in from a walk he took. He was always taking long walks and held it up to me and said to look, see the light in the leaf pulsing, dancing still. I was busy and tired and had forgotten how to see and said, yeah, it's a maple leaf, so what? There was someone buzzing at the door again, paperwork, so many important things to do. The light in the leaf, he said again, and danced away in a whirl of wind. And when I sat down and stopped, I realized mm. that what he meant was to look and see that energy, that essence alive in the leaf. He could see it. He was supposed to be disabled, but he was able to see the light of God in a leaf and to wonder at it. After weeks of running blind through my life, the Rainbow Man taught me to open my eyes and heart again. A 93-year-old woman talking about apples. In ancient times, we used to get all types of apples. We used to get tangy sweets, St. Lawrence, crabs, russets, candy striped, sheep's nose, like a sheep's nose, yes, sort of tapered. My mother would bake tangy sweets and the skin would shine. So sweet, you didn't need sugar. You just left the stem on and added cloves. A squatty kind of apple. God, the smell when they're baking. Sighed the 93-year-old woman and closed her eyes. Like it suddenly all came back to her on a wave. Homelessness is you, homelessness is me. Homelessness is Dan, who was a minor. Homelessness is Eric, who was a computer programmer. Homelessness is Emily, who was a student. Homelessness is Brian, who worked packing meat for a while and worked picking fruit for a season and works in construction when they can use them. Homelessness is you, homelessness is me. Homelessness is Jack, who fought in the Falklands War. Homelessness is Harry, who fought in Normandy and in Korea and in the east end of Glasgow. Homelessness is Jane, who fought and survived the mental health system. Homelessness is Maggie, who says, if there's one thing she's learned, it's that she's a survivor. Homelessness is you, homelessness is me. Homelessness is David, who sees guardian angels in the trees seraphim perched on fences. Homelessness is Sarah who sees no way out. Homelessness is Eric who jumped from a bridge in London. Homelessness is Chan who they found frozen in a dumpster. Homelessness is you, homelessness is me. Homelessness is Ewan who has traveled to South America and China and Alaska and has so many stories he could fill a book, two books. Homelessness is Victor, who has a tattoo of a butterfly he reveals like he's bearing his soul. Homelessness is Jenny, who is dying of AIDS and whose last wish is to travel to sky, to sit on a beach near Portree and watch the sun setting. Homelessness is you, homelessness is me. Homelessness is Muhammad, who sleeps in his car and has to keep moving on when the cops come. Homelessness is Ray, who sleeps in the graveyard. Homelessness is Vernon, who lives in a tidy squat where he likes to read the Evening Times and cook sausages. Homelessness is you. Homelessness is me. Homelessness is Satina, who escaped the war in Sudan and is scared of being deported by the Home Office. Homelessness is Susan, who escaped her husband in Manchester and is scared of being found and killed. Homelessness is Jessica, who escaped her stepfather. Homelessness is Curtis, who volunteers at a charity shop and can fix anything. Radios, TVs, bicycles, washing machines. 
homelessness is Curtis, who has lived for 40 years with the labels stupid, defective, disabled, broken. Homelessness is Neil, who loves to sit and talk about 60s music and knows his stuff. Homelessness is Nicola, who loves the ballet. Homelessness is Sylvester, who plays joyful, jangly, ragtime piano in the shelter chapel. Homelessness is Paul, who writes the most sensitive, beautiful poetry. Homelessness is you. Homelessness is me. Homelessness, homelessness is Craig, who never speaks or smiles and has a coley dog he takes excellent care of. Homelessness is Ian, who wanders the streets looking for a hit and has a distant light in his eyes when he remembers playing football with his mates, walking in the hills, fishing for salmon. Homelessness is you, homelessness is me. Homelessness is Chaz and Barry and Lynn, who spent their childhoods in and out of foster care, their teenage years in and out of institutions, and all of their adult lives inside either jails or shelters. Homelessness is Albert, who spent 10 years inside Belmarsh, where he learned to hate and how to play the whole dirty, rotten game. Homelessness is Dave, who wants to work with children. Homelessness is Lewis, who can't pay his council tax. Homelessness is Norma, who can't pay her electric. Homelessness is Elizabeth, who was eight, eight months pregnant. Homelessness is Miles, who misses tucking his kids in. Homelessness is Robbie, who says, when he wins the lottery, he's gonna buy his own tropical island and give what's left to the nuns who accepted him for who he is, who treated him like a human being. Homelessness is you, homelessness is me. Homelessness is Dick who says, I was staying with friends, but they get sick of you. Homelessness is Chris and Nina who take good care of each other and make love where and when they can. Homelessness is Matt who says, you feel like the invisible man. Homelessness is Colin who says, let's just say I fucked up royally. Homelessness is Vincent who says, it could happen to anyone. People don't realize. Lose your family, your job, your mind. People have no idea how close to the edge they're walking. Mm -hmm.